g'day. With this particular integral, we're now in exponential territory. So we can see that we're dealing with exponentials and not anything else. The first reaction to that is to notice we have an exponential to some function. And my first reaction is to say, does the derivative of that function exist out the front? Now in this particular case, we've hit the nail on the head instantly because the derivative of x squared is 2x. This is perfect. This is the pattern. The integral of f dash x e to the fx dx. Exponential with the derivative of the function out the front. And it just simply means the integral is e to the x squared. It's that original function. Plus c. Well, how's that for fast? It turns out this was quite a nice integral. Now, there is a second method, uh, as you'll notice from some of the other videos. Although I haven't shown you the substitution method yet, I prefer to use that for particular kinds of functions. i much rather see the pattern. Let's do this by substitution, which, by the way, was the way I was taught at school. So we'll write it out again. 2x e dx squared dx equals, and we would let u equal x squared, because that's the complicating factor. If this was just e to some uh, primural, that would be simpler. So we're replacing that x squared with a u. That means du dx. We've got to do this to find out what to do with our dx. Now du dx is 2x. Therefore, du equals 2x dx, just by multiplying both sides by dx. Now, fortunately, you can see that we have a 2x times dx in our expression here. 2x times dx. So we can replace that with a du. Both those bits. The e to the x squared we can write as e to the, and we've replaced x squared now with a u. So th this integral is the same as that integral in terms of value. Now the integral of e to the u is simply e to the u plus c. And to get back to our original function we just have to substitute what, whatever we had for u. u is worth x squared. So we write x squared plus c. And you can see it's the same result. Exactly the same result. Now, this was the method I was taught in school. You can see it's more involved. And uh, while it has its place, I've since learned that recognising the patterns of some of these more basic integrals is worthwhile. So here we have an exponential with a function and the derivative of the function is out the front. And that's the exact pattern we need for this. I hope that's helped. Thank you for watching.